Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will use composite material for strengthening our concrete specimen depending to four structural tests. We will use composite material as elastic lamina type and also we will perform all necessary steps for successfully our job. Let's get started. In the wall model, we have concrete specimen rulers and supports now let's go to part and create our sp specimen of composite strengthening let's create crfp name for our composite deformable solid extrusion click continue and create our composite structure part let's go to Sketch, create rectangular 20 millimeter in the length of our cement and 100 in the width. Next one. And our part is, our part thickness is 2 millimeter, for example, click OK. Now, let's go to create our property of material. Elasticity, elastic select laminate type and add our property of our it units of our data in is in megapascal now we have elastic property of our composite click ok now let's assign section or layers to our composite create composite layer number of layers we need to add in our strengthened material continuum shell we use continuum shell because we have solid part in three dimension click continue and select region first My, our region of now select material, composite material, and thicknesses of each layer, 0.25 millimeter. Okay. As you can see here, the thicknesses, the wall thicknesses of our part, equal to 1.5 millimeter, but in our model, equal to 2 millimeter. When go to processing. The value of thicknesses is 1.5 not 2 millimeter let's go now to rotation 0 45 and 90 degree for example on your model and your data edit integration point let's use one for simplify our calculation okay now we have material stacking in our parts now let's go to assembly module and we need to add our composite material in the bottom side of our concrete specimen let's select instance apply okay let's first rotate in the right position select starting point of axis or of rotation second point of axis of rotation degree of rotation you click ok we have the right position let's go to translate this part select this point there go to the middle of our specimen okay now we have our composite material in the right position under the concrete specimen select part now let's go to step we, we don't need to change anything there interaction now we need to get, create interaction between concrete specimen and our composite material the interaction is preferred to be 
perfect contacts between these two parts let's do tie contact that means we have perfect contact between these two parts create surface main surface let's replace our part select this top surface of our specimen of our composite material the top surface click ok surface select the bottom surface of specimen concrete as the secondary surface ok click ok now we have tie interaction between the bottom surface of concrete and the top surface of our composite material tie interaction now let's go to mesh and meshing our part 10 millimeter yes let's go to creating our job continue okay let's check our model first data check Okay. We have aborted result. Let's go to monitor. We have two hundred fifty millimeter have missing property definition. Let's see this set in our visualization result. element missing section his light item in viewport now this missing error in missing property in 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 our composite let's go to mesh let's use continuum shell for because we have continuum parts click ok now let's go to job and check again click ok also we have an error we have the local direction after material orientation orientation normal shell membrane let's go to mesh again and let's just use assign stack direction to our part select select top surface as a reference orientation select this surface as reference orientation select oh, yes this part this surface represented as reference orientation let's go to job check again click ok running check completed without any errors let's continue our process okay now we have completed analysis go to result and now let's plot the format shape and 
stresses in our parts let's go to viewport show all apply Let's replace just concrete part. If you select concrete specimen, replace. Let's select compressive damage, tension damage in our specimen. This is the result of our threatening with composite material of our concrete specimen. I hope you enjoy with this video. Don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel for more interesting video. See you in the next video.